So how do you actually create an interactive survey so that when your leads come through, they should convert at a much higher rate because you create interaction between the lead and the application. You don't wanna just do some simple old school fill-in application. You actually wanna bring them through a funnel and process. We'll be showing you guys all the different types of funnels, all the different types of surveys, all the different types of applications that you can take users through in today's video. Before we get to today's video, let's start by announcing last video is winners for thousand dollars worth of courses or consultant calls with me. The winners here. If you guys want to qualify or hit the new drop, comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like this video, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Other than that, let's get right into today's video. As you can see, here is a funnel application. Here's an application for a mentorship program. This is Mike Fasil's mentorship program. And as you can see, it's a pretty old school calendar where you just sort of fill everything in. And that's about it. Like it's pretty straightforward, a lot of text, um, and it definitely looks crowded. And this could definitely deter a lot of people that have low intent to actually work with Mike Vasil and his friends. There is Alex Becker's funnel. And at the bottom, he actually has a calendar link. And when you go ahead and book in a time that you want, say confirm, he actually takes you through an application on the calendar link. So one, you already subconsciously lock in that interview because you pick the time that you're available for, and then you're taken to this long application, which a lot of people might sort of leave just because they see it takes some time. Now there's Sam Oven's funnel. Now his one, I'm pretty sure he custom built or he used an app called all right, after sort of looking around, Sam Ovens uses Jotform. So he builds this pretty cool interactive funnel where you can say stuff like this. Previous. I'm a civilian thinking of becoming an entrepreneur. Andy, next. So he has a very interactive site that allows people to really go through this funnel. Um, he does show all the questions you have here. Let's go through it and see what happens at the end. Cool. So after he finishes the application, he sends you to a sort of booking page where you go ahead and book in a call. And then the schedule page is very, very simple. So that is this one. So I'm sure I'm showing you the old school method to a more modern method using the calendar link and having a questionnaire within the calendar to having your own interactive form that you make. And then lastly, here's an interactive chat box. So as you can see, you're literally talking to someone and it's sort of like a bot. Hey, my name is Andy. And it sort of brings you through a funnel. You have these massive huge buttons that you could click. Um, and this has a much, much higher conversion rate. I think I was um, watching a mastermind replay and the person who runs this, his conversion rate went from like 8% to 20% using a chat bot. And if you're able to, to like two to three X the conversion rate of your lead form, you're gonna get so much more leads. And just by doing that, your revenue is gonna increase at least by two X. So having a chat box is super important. So I'm literally gonna give you guys all the tools to go ahead and use all these different type of calendars. So for example, Sam Ovens, his previous funnel, he uses Jotform. What you could also use alternatively is using a ClickFunnel survey. Uh, ClickFunnel has its own survey builder and that's pretty cool. But if you wanna go ahead and use this interactive chat bot, you want to use lambot.io and it's super amazing and I'm planning to go ahead and incorporate this to all my funnels because the conversion rate increase just sounds insane and I'm going to split test it. I'm going to compare the chat box versus an old school Calendly um, survey that me and Alex Becker uses and for that it's just Calendly.com. But yeah, that's all the ways to go ahead and create an interactive survey. Not many people talk about this. People talk about just sort of building out webinars, putting in a survey, but the actual survey application itself, how it looks, how people fill it out, 
that's very very important and no one talks about that so that's exactly why i'm releasing this video because i wish someone had released some type of content just like this because it would have helped me immensely but yeah hope you guys enjoy this video question of the day do you prefer to fill out short applications or long applications and the reason i ask that is because short applications might seem unprofessional whereas long applications might seem very complicated so both have pros and cons. I want to hear what your thoughts are and what type of applications you personally like filling out. Other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with more value. All I ask, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like this video, and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with more value. Peace.